Hi! Welcome into another video. We're here, we're sitting down to watch the first episode of You Season 4. Now, I wasn't sure whether I was going to end up doing this or not. I know, like, when it when it first got announced, God, like, months ago, um, I definitely really wanted to do it, but I obviously didn't know if it still had the same hype that it used to. I feel like, is it sl slowly, like, kind of dwindling? I don't know, because I felt like the first two seasons, especially, were like a smash. And then for me, I'm, a, I'm just a bit iffy now that they fucking killed Love off. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I was really hoping that she was gonna be in this season because like she was like my favorite character. I'm not gonna lie, like last season, I've done videos on my channel. If you do wanna watch them, they are on there still. I, I recall not really fucking with Joe much. I was definitely fucking with Love more. And I didn't really like, what's her name, Marilyn? That's not a name, but it's an M word, I'm pretty sure. This new girl that is now chased off to Paris, I'm guessing. Regardless, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna see We're gonna see if it lives up. I know we've got five episodes now and then we'll get another five episodes in like a month's time. So that kind of works for me because I'll, I'll probably end up doing like a, a, um, an episode a week. So that should work well. But yeah, I guess with all that said, let's get into the video. Check me out on Instagram. It'll be up on the screen there. Check me out on Spotify, Twitter, Patreon, and Discord. I'll link down below. I nearly said Discord weird then but I didn't, I saved it. Check out my podcast, The Kitchen Sink. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I post it on YouTube, all the things. Thanks to my producers and patrons. Thanks for being over there. Thanks for supporting the channel. The unedited version of this will be going on Patreon before you see it on YouTube. So if you want to be the first to see them and hear all my thoughts, completely unedited, check out the Patreon. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo! God, it's been a while since I've done like a Netflix thing. The last thing was Wednesday, wasn't it? End of last year. Love. Hello. It's a reason for being. I'm so bitter. I wolf. Oh, I don't want to hear I wolf you. That's gross. But love burns me out. Guys, the thing is, I know she did wrong. I know she did so many things wrong, so many deaths. Why don't you love me anymore? But I just love Victoria Pedretti. I did everything to be a good man, a good husband, a good father. Well, well. Love couldn't understand me, but Marianne. Marianne. Ah. No home, no name, all for you. We're in fucking Paris. We're in Paris. Psych. Are we in London? If LA was purgatory and suburbia was hell, London, maybe when I finally got to the good place. We're in London, hey? Jonathan. The occasional douchebag. The American. Oh, the American. Do we actually treat Americans like that? Like, do we really like not let them forget it? Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. No, Notting Hill romance for me. <laughs> Gays. <laughs> no love, no people, just books. Okay, bullshit. I call bullshit, I'm calling bullshit. Sorry, Joseph. It's what's happening at my back window across the alley that is of my particular interest. Were people watching again? Woman watching. And who is that? See, there it is. There it is! No, I'm not interested. No people, not interested. But you are interested because you're looking. Your eyes are looking. You're e you're like watching them like a hawk. You're interested. It's getting a bit irritating to be honest. Bang bang, knocking on my door. Oh my god, Phineas! What's the common footprint? Would you be doing wrong? Then I got bored. Ching ching. Rumor also holds remarkable in bed with above average. You you know what? Above average penis. Well, that'll do it. Actually, no, penis size is not all that. Kate Galvin. Kate gives. Look at him. He's snooping. Guys, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting tired. What's got her so focused? Okay, I don't think that's art news daily. On no, that's definitely porn. We're definitely going to flick the bean and you know what? Well, Ashley should be able to. Why does the universe keep doing this to me? Peeping toms like you should be ashamed of yourself. 
I just missed you. Weeks went by. I never gave up. Right, so he never actually found found Marianne in Paris. He was just there thinking that she was there and he missed her. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> That's her painting, he's pretty sure. I love this artist. Do you have any more of their work or, or an email? Oh yeah, an email. She may take some time to get back to you. She's in London. Right, that's why we're now in London. Okay, I understand. I'm not gonna lie though, this 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 whole rigmarole is getting a little bit tiresome on my end. Like, are you guys still riveted by this? Because I'm not. Go fuck yourself, Malcolm, which I'm sure you'd love because you're a total fucking narcissist. Hey. You're a total fucking narcissist. Just so we're clear. It's following her. It's not following someone if you have to walk the same way home. It is. Um... Is she gonna get mugged and he's gonna save her? No! <gasps> this can't be happening. They're mugging her. No, Joe, you've got to get involved now, but that doesn't mean you've got to turn into a freak afterwards. Save her, save her, Joe, save her. <laughs> oh, fair play, rather than getting physical. Although I would have liked him to throw a few punches, you know? Don't mention me. My work visa is shaky. Damn it, I just had to do it, didn't I? I had to go and save her. Well, that's fine. You've, you're done now. You've done your good deed. Now, stop being a weirdo. From now on, low profile. John Boy. Jesus. You can see right in our flat. Mmm, absolutely. Are you a peeping Tom, John Boy? Oh, he absolutely is. He's a peeping Joe, is what he is. Oh, yes, my friend. I have to feel bad for people so desperate they need to do that. Scum from birth, you mean. The rich. We're the real victims here. Oh. Oh, that's a sh that's shaky logic, that is. That's shaky logic. I don't like this fella. Why do I think he's going to get slaughtered? We built this country, and what thanks do we get for it? Enough about the peasants. Oh my god, he called them peasants. I will have to do something intrinsically evil. You're a fucking c- You'll come along with us tonight. You saved Kate's life. I am repaying you. We're leaving half an hour. Just lock your door. It comes knocking, you don't answer. Done. Shut your curtains. No bother. Ah! Kate, over here! Oh my god, you look stunning! Phoebe, lady for black sweat. I hate these people. I hate every single one of these people. Lady Phoebe. It's Kate's most famous friend. Imagine being a lady or a lord. Oh my god. That you, you may as well just have like twat written on your forehead, aren't you? This is Jonathan Moore. He's American. Hi. Blessing is a Nigerian princess. Wow. Soz not sauce for interrupting. Soz not sauce. Oh my god, I wanna ruin it. I, I wanna ruin everything. More introductions. How do you feel about art, John Boy? I hate that man. <laughs> Simon painstakingly cultivates a tortured artist persona. These people are meant to be famous, but they've got like four comments. The math is not mathing. I have too many friends. I'm back when one is dead. Oh my. Ouch. Simon, sweetie. Don't be a cunt. Too late, babes. Too late. Sophie is a jet set influencer, almost sociopathic. <laughs> Slack off and die, Malcolm. The first person I can get behind. Fuck off and die, Malcolm, and thank you very much. Good day. Jonathan Moore teaches literature as now, and he's American. Moore, where's your family from? All over. And it's also none of your, none of your business. All right, get out my face. God, I really, I'm really feeling, feeling bitter and rude. Loving the whole off the rack vibe. I'm gonna try and enjoy myself. Hydrate. No! I, I've just said I was gonna try and enjoy myself and now we're doing drugs. This is where I draw the line. I'm glad he threw them away. Tell no one your sordid life story for 30 years. Lay it down. Suddenly millions know you're every shape. Just let me go. Oh, God. Now, tell us, Jonathan, why are you here? Oh, they're getting him drunk so they can actually get some truth. My cousin killed someone on accident, of course. It was just a homeless person, which, God, if she did it now, she'd be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! 
When I followed you to the art fair in London, I felt you, Marianne. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this has felt like torture so far. <laughs> oh, she's changed hair. He's such a fucking creep bag. Oh, she ran off, as she should. I mean, Love told her, didn't she, that Love was the one that told her to run. So obviously she's, she's done what Love said. I followed a woman to Paris, and then she broke my heart. My ex-wife told her things about me. That were true. <laughs> Your ex-wife told her things that were fact. Right? The burden of our decade. Women believing women. Like, they don't lie and cheat and fuck. They don't move She up. wasn't like that. Oh, it's gonna hurt him, and you know what? Clink. Let's go. Sitting here all loved up over some silly whore who couldn't give two shits about you. He's just called her a whore. Oh my god, he's a misogynist for sure. Fuck. Get this one home. Is that over? Is it the morning? Great. Back to fucking sanity and hopefully nicer people, because Jesus Christ. Do you see what trying to forget you's done to me, Marion? I hate everyone in this show so far. In this season, even. Like, I'm not that fond of Joe. <laughs> so. New day. No more craziness. Oh my God, did he kill Malcolm? Yes! Yes! Yeah! Malcolm. Oh, now it's getting good. The flavor. Oh, see, now it's getting good. This is what I signed up for, the murder, the death and destruction. I never wanted to touch a bloody knife again. I love it! I deserved it. Prick. What the? Oh. Wait, we've took a... F we've took a finger off. This is what you saw when you looked at me. Maria. A killer, and it's true, you are. Why did he chase her? That's not gonna help your situation, is it? Running after the woman. <laughs> she wasn't scared of you before, she will be now. Would you run into a dark room? Why would you run into a dark? Uh, oh, I think she got away. Perf. Oh, I, I, why do I feel like he's gonna find her and kill her? Has he killed her? Do you he killed her? Bollocks! 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 Can we please talk? Stop. Oh. She's got a knife. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're right, you're not. She's got a blade. Slice. <laughs> oh, bollocks. I thought you just said you weren't gonna hurt her. What do you fucking call this? She's gonna have a bruised elbow. I thought you'd be happy to see me. Delusion. You killed Ryan. He took your child. And your wife? Standing here, the love didn't kill you. You killed her, didn't you? Absolutely. I'm sorry, but she's got every right to think that you're gonna fucking offer. He's not you, like you're, you're just a good man who did a bad thing. Oh, he's done too many bad things to be considered a good man. You're a murderer, Joe. Period. Thank you, Maryam. She can stay. She can stay. She's the first person I've liked. You're wrong about me. I'm gonna prove it to you. Oh. That's something you're just not gonna be able to prove to someone, is it? That you're not a killer. Like, if they already think you're a killer, that, that like, in, in their mind, it's just like, you're already, like, done. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no redeeming that thought, or, like, there's no reversing that thought in their brain. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a pretty serious thing to think about someone. It's not, not just like, you're mean. Oh, no, I'm gonna prove to you I'm not mean. That's different. Who's that? Looks like I have half a soccer game to do this. Oh God, we're cutting him up. I like million dollar deals, where's my pen? Oh my penis, oh penis. The ones that look like socks. It, it was a large penis also. Joe Quinn Goldberg. Thought you'd be more um, 
Oh, dead. He knows our real name. <gasps> Who's he? You know my employer, Ray Quinn. So are you here to take me back? No, I'll kill you. Huh? Excuse me? Thank you. He's here to kill us. Well, that's not gonna happen. We've got rest of the season, yeah? <laughs> what I'd like is to uh, just be done, you know? Not hurt anyone anymore. Right. Disappear. Be Jonathan. I'll show where you're dead and then fuck off into the sunset. Oh my god, wait, he's helping us. So am I supposed to call him Jonathan now? So you believe it's possible? Redemption? I think yes, as long as they commit to never run from themselves. Face it all no matter what. Oh, well, this will be interesting, won't it? <laughs> Joe slash Jonathan's redemption arc, I guess. Are you going to sit here perseverating on that cock up? Perseverating? What the fuck? You've lost me, sir. You've lost me. Perseverating? Sounds great, but there are things I've done that I don't know if I can ever embrace. I think he ought to try and embrace them though and like understand, like and actually acknowledge what he's done wrong because I feel like he plays the victim so often and it's just like, it, the way he like explains it to himself is like, oh, I'm not that kind of person, blah, 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 blah. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the way he reasons with all the shit that he's done. He just kind of like separates himself from his actions. And I'm just like, that's clearly not how it works. It's not how these things go. You can't just be like, oh, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. Like, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> You're fucking dead. I'm not what you think. So why did you take a locket then? Oh, it's to, it's to say that it's done right. Good, perfect, you. Are you surprised I can read or something? Why are you staring at them? No, I'm just curious what you like. God, she's fucking rude, isn't she? Come to dinner tonight. Wait, what? A little soiree for Simon. No, we're not soireeing. No. No soiree. You've been summoned, so. Okay, well, Americans don't. Who the, who the fuck do you think I am? You can't just summon me and I, and I do what you say. When it comes to randos sniffing around my friends, well, maybe you do want absolutely nothing, but I'm not going to pretend it isn't suspect. Hey, he's not been sniffing around no friends. He didn't even want to go to that fucking thing in the first place. He got dragged by Malcolm. He didn't want anything to do with any of you. He's, he's running off. Hello, you. Who is this? You surprised me handling Malcolm like that. Oh! Oh! This is getting juice. Here I thought when I left him on your table, you'd go down for my sins. I didn't do it. I, I think it could be the woman, that girl that's invited him to dinner. I think it could be her. What's your next move? Right. Oh, stop, stop. I hate that, I hate, do you know in Netflix, like when you get onto the part that obviously credits come up, you can't just pause it to stop it because it's on the next, next episode button. Like I can't just click to pause. It's so fucking irritating. Netflix sorted out. Anyway, well that's that, that's that done. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, <sighs> that was an interesting first episode because usually, usually when I watch the first episode of something, I can kind of tell how I'm gonna feel about the rest of the season. And I really don't know whether I'm gonna fuck with this season or not. Because there's parts of this that's getting juicy, like this whole thing with this person that's killed Malcolm and, and now he's texting Joe. That's really interesting. Marianne, I, I imagine she's probably gonna come back into the picture at some point and that's kind of interesting me. All these stupid like high class friends and all that bollocks and like even that guy that's like, is uh, is a writer, right? Like he's a bit meh for me. Um, I don't know. Some of the tropes have already been done. Do you know what I mean? And like him obsessing over people, that's that's been overdone for me. So I I low key hope that they've not they kind of ditched the him obsessing over some female because that's got a bit old and stale for me. And I hope they focus more on this person that's kind of like making Joe go down for something that did, that they did. I think that could be quite interesting, like some sort of murder mystery kind of vibe. I kind of like that. Because I'm also thinking like the person who's done it probably has no idea, I, I, should, I should imagine, 
what Joe Jonathan is capable of. So I think this could be quite interesting. So I'm hoping they go more that route. And if they do, I see myself fucking with it. I don't really want us to get more of this, just like him pining after some woman and doing some stupid shit to try and win her, I guess. I don't know, but that's just my thoughts. What did you guys think of this first episode? Um, after this video, there's going to be a while until the next video. I think the next thing you'll get is probably the podcast on Sunday because I'm off to London. Yeah, and then when I come back, obviously, at like normal scheduling will, will resume. But yeah, with all that said, I guess this is the end of the vid. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, goodbye. <laughs>